Hello again, everyone. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews. A little public service announcement to close out the month of May, as well as the beginning of May. It's Motorcycle Awareness Month, so look twice to save a life. Remember, they have a much harder time changing speed and direction than you do in your vehicle. So keep that in mind. Very important reminder to close out the month of May. Have a look at the temperature trend as we close out May. Average high is 73, much warmer than that for Friday into Saturday, a very warm, muggy day on Saturday, and then a little bit of a thermal cliff. Sunday, a high of 68 degrees in my forecast. Wow, that's a bit of a cool down there. And then we slowly ratcheted it up, but the humidity doesn't come back quite as fast this time, nor do the temperatures warm up quite as quickly for next week. So we're turning up the heat for Friday and the humidity Friday into Saturday. Storms are very likely later Saturday and Saturday night. I would say right now the best chance for severe in terms of what criteria would happen would be in the wind category and at the onset of the storms. So let's say they come in at three or four or five o'clock Saturday afternoon, then at three or four for that first hour or so, strong winds would be the most likely culprit for any kind of severe aspects to the storms. And then for Sunday and beyond, a long stretch of dry weather. Important to keep that in mind because you're going to need to ration your water and make good use of it because you're going to wind up needing it for multiple days after Saturday night and early Sunday morning. Here's Thursday's cold front moving off the coast towards Beantown and away from the area. You can see that broken line of showers. That is the remnants of the cool front that brought us the cooler, drier weather for Thursday and Thursday night to start off your cool Friday. So there goes that off the coast. A couple of features here. Obviously, the inner mountain region and the, and the western plains seeing a lot of rain and storms. You've probably heard about that. That continues for the foreseeable future, probably for another four or five days. But of more relevance to us, this line of showers and storms, can you see how it's headed to the north versus to the east as much? That's because it's going to wind up bumping into high pressure that's building in for our fantastic Friday. But there's a cold front. See this line of storms. That's another cold front racing out of southern Canada, and the two are going to join forces. And that's going to have an effect on our weather. But in the short term, high pressure is building in. It's resulted in a totally clear day for today, but it is going to be very warm out there. And the mugginess will pick up as that high moves off the coast and joins its cousin and pumps in the heat and humidity for Friday, especially Friday night and Saturday. So that forces this storm to again continue its jog to the north of us, keeps us in the warm, humid side, keeps the showers at bay until this cold front races out of Canada, joins forces, and gives it the oomph it needs to move through Saturday afternoon and evening to make for a cool down, a fairly dramatic one for Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, Monday night into Tuesday of next week. But there's a possibility as those systems approach, they could bring us severe weather, particularly in the wind category. Have a look at your almanac for today. Wow, yesterday came in a few degrees cooler than expected because the cloud cover was so tough to break, especially in the morning hours. There's a look at your daylight, 15 hours and five minutes, two more minutes come on board for Saturday. And I will have your weekend forecast when we come back. On a quiet street in the sleepy village of Deerfield, people are out and about living their lives, but there's one person a decent, courteous, unsung, solitary voice waging a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and saving our taxes all on our behalf. By day, she's Diane Nasser. But by night, when the shadows are long and the lights are going out on most people's day, she's working the midnight oil as Diane Nasser, CPA Wonder Woman. That's right, and I myself am a witness. She's personally saved me almost $700 on my federal taxes alone money I didn't even know I had coming to me. But that's her style. No fanfare, no pomp, no circumstance, just filing returns, yours and mine, late into the evening, with you and me waking up to hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars saved from the clutches of the IRS. And her reward, a job well done. And maybe a nice new blue cape. Because that's who she is. Diane Nasser, CPA, Wonder Woman. Welcome back, your TGIF forecast. It's really simple, sunny side up. Yes, a slice of nice, delightful, but it will be very warm by the afternoon hours after a crisp and cool start. So bright sunshine, you'll need the sunglasses. And for Friday evening, it'll start off clear, but by midnight and beyond, the clouds will be rolling in, the humidity will be inching up. And for that reason, it won't be nearly as cool by Saturday morning 
Temperatures will be starting off in the low 60s and climbing into the low 80s before storms arrive. Saturday afternoon into the evening hours and maybe into the overnight hours as well. There will be some strong southerly breezes ahead of this cool front and then behind it a cool northwest wind. Sunday may start off with a couple of hours of cloudiness, but I think it'll clear up quickly so that the late morning and afternoon will be bright. A cool Sunday night and then beautiful weather really from Sunday afternoon through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week with a gradual warming trend and a gradual increase in the haze and humidity. That is a check of your CNY weathertainment forecast. Make sure you spread the word. It's more fun when there's more than one. See you next time.